Did you ever stop to think about how much we take for granted? The things that we don't really miss until they're gone? Well, your eyesight could certainly fall into that category. If you don't take the proper care of your eyes, they could be gone forever. Please join me now if you listen to Merman Hudson describe how his life changed in an instant. Well, I started in the shipyard as soon as, in, in, as, soon as I got out of the Army. And I was like everybody else, didn't have a job, didn't have no prospects, didn't know too much because I was still uh, 18, 19 years old. I worked in North Ship Building and Dry Dock for about a year. I got laid off for two weeks and my quarterman at the time, which was old Davenport fellow, said, uh, I don't think you'll ever get laid off again. 40, 49, right at 50 years, I never got laid off again. I enjoyed my job the whole time. Safety culture, when I started, is, uh, was almost non-existent. They had no rules on safety and there was no outrageous safety regulations whatsoever. The biggest thing that came out in safety when I was in it, when I started in 55, was that you, they wanted you to wear safety shoes. And it was a good reason but nobody had put out the empathy on sightseeing or fingers lost. And that was a very important thing that should have been addressed. And uh, most people would wear them when they needed them. But to me, at that time, I was one of the guys that wore mine when I needed them. And we were working in the emergency generator room. We didn't know where, we had a transformer we had to mount it, and we didn't know where to mount it. So I do to my suggestion, I said, well, why don't we mount it on expanded metal? We'll cut out the expanded metal and mount it on that. Now in cutting the expanded metal, I was looking right at him, not even thinking, hey, there's a safety issue involved here. I didn't have no safety glasses because they hadn't put out, come out with this where you had to have safety glasses wear them at that time. And as he cut that piece of metal, the expanded metal, it was just like a bullet. The last piece he cut, come right straight into my left eye and I closed my left eye and I caught the piece of metal but it had went in so far that it wouldn't come back out I had to pull it out and that's where I lost my side of my eye after this the shipyard came out with a policy which is suited me fine to wear your safety glasses at all time I'll get a warning notice right up right up notice well I might say I did not never get a warning notice, but I had people working for me when I made supervisor that uh, I had kept made tried to make sure they wore safety glasses because uh, you won't you won't miss it until you lose it, and once you lose it, it's gone. You can't get it back. It affected my life, uh, and it, it's something I have to live with, and I have been living with for the last 40, 45, 50 years. It impacted my job didn't let people know how much it impacted my job because I was scared I would lose my job once I lost my eye. I would literally turn my head most of the time to see and I would bump into things with my head a lot of times. People don't wear the safety glasses mainly because they think it messes up their looks. Why do you look worse with a one eye than you do with two eyes? I'm not even thinking about losing an eye, uh, which is the most important thing in a man's life is your eyesight. And you, you won't miss it until it's gone, I guarantee you, but I really miss mine. Even after 40 years, I miss mine. You don't have to be working, grinding. You don't have to be drilling or chipping or anything. It can happen walking across the shipyard. Shipyard's a dangerous place. That's why you do need safety equipment to wear at all times, especially safety glasses.